Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am the Grateful Queen and this is a channel all about reselling online. I shop at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and the bins. I buy things to flip on sites like eBay and Poshmark. I hope to encourage you to buy secondhand and maybe even resell. I'm grateful to be self-employed and work from home, and I'd like to inspire you to make more money and love what you do. Hey friends, welcome back. I have a huge haul video for you. Uh, on Saturday, my partner Peter and I hit the yard sales and I bought a lot of clothes, including clothing from a yard sale where everything was 50 cents, which is awesome. I have a very hard time where I live keeping my cost of goods that low, but yard sales is a great way to do it. So I'm here's my plan for the video. I'm going to show you all the clothing that I bought and tell you what I paid for it and tell you where I hope to sell it and what I hope to make from it. How does that sound? If it sounds good, go ahead and give this video a like and stay with me. I'm gonna get right into it because I think I have a lot of stuff. This is all mostly clothing. I might insert some footage of some of the other home goods and stuff that I found for my house and maybe to sell on eBay and Poshmark. I'm thinking about moving into that market a little bit, but I have a few things to figure out first. These are some of my sweet treasures I found. These vintage brooch brooches. So sweet. And babe, um, what did you find at that yard sale? Show us what you got. The magic hole blower outer. Hole blower outer? How much was that? One dollar. Brand new. Oh yeah. Never been used because you know there's so many uses for it, but Sound good? Let's do it. So this, um, ooh, I went, you know what I love about yard selling is I, f I remember each person and each house that I went to and what happened there. I totally love it being out in the community like that. This is Chico's. I bought this for $3 from uh, an older woman at a yard sale who was wearing the best vintage silver frog brooch. Um, this I bought because it's a size three, so Chico's does vanity sizing, so this is an XL, and it's linen, and it's, I don't know, if this is more like a jacket almost. So I think I'll put that up since it's a great size, a good brand that sells for me on eBay. I think I'll put this one up for maybe like $29.99 with best offer and hope to get $20.25. These things are still on the hangers. Hot off the presses. I have not steamed this stuff yet, you guys, or washed it or anything, so I'm showing it to you as is, but it will look better when I take pictures for my listings. Um, this is Gap Body Size Small. Do I pick up all Gap? No, but I pick up Gap when they're white, 100% linen pants. I love selling linen. I love wearing linen, especially in the summer. People buy it. And... Um, just to know, so I'll, I'll only buy Gap, like those huge brand labels where there's just thousands and thousands of listings on Posh and eBay for things like Gap. Um, but Gap Body or Gap Fit does sell well for me. That little subset. This is the last thing I got at that yard sale, so all these were $3. This is a brand XCVI. Um, if you're not on Instagram, or if you are, go over and follow me. I'm Grateful Queen Bee on Instagram. And I have had a conversation about this brand XCVI in the comments over there and on the comments of one of these videos. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. Um, it retails really high. So I think I can sell this jacket. I'm looking for the size, but it looks sort of like a medium large. This, size, this brand tends to run a little big. It doesn't say here, but I'll put measurements in, no problem. I don't not pick, pick something up if it doesn't have the size. Cute green jacket, 
for $3, I'll probably put it up for like $34.99 on eBay. XCVI is one of those brands that I'd consider maybe like a more mature brand. And at this point in time with my current business model, I am putting my more mature brands on um, eBay and my more like, you know, trendier brands on Poshmark. Okay, so now this entire box that's sitting in front of me is all stuff I got for 50 cents at this yard sale. I'm gonna show them to you. I'll go through kind of quickly because I don't think these are anything, well, we'll see what's in here. The danger of buying things at a yard sale where things are like 50 cents is that sometimes I'll buy things, sometimes I'll buy things that I wouldn't ordinarily buy because it's so cheap. So it's a bit of a trap. I have to be really careful. My goal right now is to sell things on eBay and Posh for approximately $20. On eBay, I do free shipping. On Posh, they, they pay for shipping. Um, so we'll see how I did. I might have bought some things I wouldn't normally buy because they won't make it in that price point for me. But um, we'll see. This is a brand I don't really know, Lily Rose, but I bought this for the style. It's almost like a kimono wide dolman sheer blouse. And I really like the print on it. Uh, my guess is this will probably only sell for like 15 bucks. This is a Nike top. I like how they the um, Nike labels on the outside. So everything I'm showing you now, 50 cents. I got a huge box, size medium Nike tank. Nike, um, there's Nike sells, the market is just so saturated. So to, in order to make my $20 price point, 20 or higher as my goal, I might lot it up, for example, like with these medium Nike dry fit leggings or something. These are skinny leggings. So I might lot these two together on eBay and put like $24.99 and try and um, sell them that way. Brooks, this is like a, I think it's like tennis. I think they're famous for their tennis wear, fitness, fitness leggings, or are these shorts? They're either a, a, a very, they're skinny. They're either, they're either spandex shorts. These look like they're gonna hit right below the knee depending on your height. But those are high quality. They'll do okay. This I bought for style, not for brand. I actually like this brand though. This is Goodfellow and it's sold at Target, but the styles are really good. This is a flannel, men's size small, but a woman could wear it soft blue flannel. These do really well in the fall. I can usually get 20 out of those um, in the fall. They're pretty styly. Target stuff does sell. It's on my list of videos to make for you guys. Um, do you sell any Target brands? If so, leave a, leave a little um, note about it in the comments. I sell Target brands in the $20 range all the time, but, I, but if they're great styles or like a plus size or something, but I'll do a video on things that are from Target that I've sold. These are Under Armour sweatpants. I would call these a jogger. The reason they're called a jogger is because if it gets skinny down at the ankle like that, they're jogger. And people like that style. The only thing with these guys, I don't know if these are men's or women's. They say large, so uh, I think they're women's large. Those look cozy. Oh my god, this is probably the funniest thing I got. I don't know why I picked this up. Probably because I was having this fun interaction with the woman who was working the yard sale. Okay, take this in. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for this? <laughs> yep. Oh yes, it keeps going. Yeah, this is some kind of jumpsuit. <laughs> Jumpsuits and rompers are really popular. In case you're not in the know with this stuff, a romper is a one piece when it shorts, a jumper or jumpsuit actually, jumpsuit is if it's full leg. So this is a strapless animal print bright orange jumpsuit. It does not have a name brand or anything in it. But the woman who was so friendly, she's like, just fill up a box. I'll give you 50 cents. She's like, oh my God, honey, that would look so great on you. And I'm like, really? I'm, <laughs> I'm holding it up. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, you have to have it. I'm like, okay. It is pretty sexy and cool though. Someone might love that. I'll put it on Posh. Okay. This is Pleone. I think Pleone's Nordstrom Rack. Correct me if I'm wrong. Love the style of this. 
It is a top, a stripe, white with like a blue chambray um, stripe, and it's large, and I like it. Put it up for $19.99 on eBay with best offer and hope to get $15. There are actually some decent pieces in here. I don't know what that is. I'm not even going to waste your time with that. Some of this stuff like this I probably wouldn't have bought, except it was 50 cents. I don't know this brand, but I was hoping the style in like the lag and look art to wear sector. Dunia, size large. It's kind of like a maxi dress with almost this like batik print. And it has a cute little ruffle hem. I don't know. Someone might like that. Took a chance for 50 cents. This I really like. This I really like. Where is the tag? I don't see it. Size medium. I have a feeling this is H. Oh, American Eagle Outfitters. American Eagle Outfitters, I don't typically buy, but the denim and the jean shorts do really good. This is an open weave crochet sweater with a tassel fringe hem. Actually, I really like that. <laughs> I love anything boho. I'd probably put American Eagle Outfitters on Poshmark and I'll put that for like 15 bucks or something. This I bought for myself because it has an elephant on it. Just a comfy boho top elephant. Moving right through this 50 cents box. This is a pair of Marika Balance Collection, which is actually okay. I like their stuff. And they are a high-waisted skinny legging. Who doesn't love that? I'll throw those in the wash. They look a little linty, but they don't have any flaws. 15 to 20. This actually, all right, I need help with this. Okay. <laughs> Yard sales, you gotta love the stuff from yard sales. You try some things you might not ordinarily try. This is Zara, which I have a love-hate relationship with Zara because it's super high quality. I find tons of it around here. I know it's expensive, it's great styles. It doesn't sell really quickly for me. Although I just sold a Zara dress for $25 yesterday. What does this say? That's what I would like to know. It's a sweatshirt, a women's extra large blush pink people love this blush pink color i'll put blush pink in the title but i just can't figure out what it says if you do you think it says real time or real life if you have any idea let me know xl is a great size this has a couple flaws on it but for 50 cents i'm willing to see if i can clean it up the north face this is a women's lightweight plaid cotton button down top People like, if they're if you're going to spend, like, say you went to the store and spent $45 on this, you like it to say North Face all over, right? It's a women's. It's a size medium. I was looking for the fabric content. It is 100% cotton, but it has a couple little, um, ooh, it has roll tab sleeves. Everyone loves those. It almost feels like linen. Just had a couple little stains on it or something, I thought. So I will throw that in the wash and see if I can get them out. And if I can, I'm sure I can get $19.99. I like this piece. Um, another Nike. Did you say Nike or Nike? Hooded sweatshirt. I kind of really, I think this one looks cool. I think I've heard people say that this red label is pretty good. Has like some breathable lined hood. This is actually a pretty nice piece. I'll have to check comps on that, but I bet I can get 20 bucks on eBay for it. Why not? Looks like kind of like streetwear. I love the print on this dress. And believe it or not, this brand sells well for me. Style & Co. sells well for me on eBay. It's one of those mature brands that does really well for me to like. J. Jill, Talbots, Chico's, all those brands sell great for me on eBay. And I love the print of this dress. I love the coral color and it's an XL. XL for me sells even better than plus size. It might be because I, no, I don't find it more than plus size. I know that I have a bin in my storage inventory labeled XL tops and it is all, it is like always super low. There's always a handful of things in there where the bins that are labeled like small and medium tops are over full. full. It's like I've got to get rid of some stuff in there. This is a dress by 1A. I don't know what that is, but it's a sweater dress. And in the fall, winter, sweater dresses sell pretty well for me. People like sweater dresses. And I like this crochet trim. Got to get my phone charger. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. The phone is charging while I make the video. 
This is a really nice shirt. Um, it's a men's shirt. It's gap size large, and it is a long sleeve wrinkly button down that I will steam up. I love the colors on that and put it on eBay for 20 bucks. I think someone might like it. We're almost done with the 50 cent box and then we're moving into the $2 box. And I've been talking to you for 13 minutes. I am trying to get quicker. I am trying to get quicker. This is Morona, another Target brand, size XL, but it's a very cute, look at the kind of cowl neck on that or draped draped neckline. I like that with a really pretty floral print. A, a nice little comfort dress. Feels really good. 15 bucks maybe? Ooh, I love these last three finds are actually pretty good. So I would have probably bought these if I saw them at a regular thrift store. This is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Denim and Supply is, um, I don't want to say higher end because Ralph Lauren has so many lines and um sub brands but this one does pretty good and i absolutely love this it's like a western style top with you guys know how i love my pearl snaps which i put in the title because people like and this is kind of like a feminine western and the reason i say that is because look at the back pleating on that isn't that so cute this is a size large i absolutely love that so i will put like um western style snap front pearl snap plaid top and i think that this will do pretty well i'll probably put it on for 29.99 and i went best offer and hope to get 20. and i love again with the yard sale stuff it's like on the way out this was on top of my box and the woman's like oh honey you got that denim and supply top that was mine i love that top and i'm like i love it too these are my two best finds at this 50 cent sale Look how sweet this is. Take it in because it's so good. It's a skirt. It is yellow with a ruffle hem and look at that detailed embroidery. On the camera, it's not showing up as bright as it is. It's a pretty bright yellow. I'm gonna have to see how this video does. I have my, um, my photography lights on this video um, because the last video I did, I just felt like the clarity of the image wasn't that great, so I'm experimenting, so let me know. Um, I hope it's not affecting the color too much. But this is by, um, oh God, this is an anthropology brand and I have no idea how to say it. Florite? Isn't, that's a pretty tag. I don't know if that's one of their older tags or what. Is it coming out for you guys? Florite. Um, that is so sweet. I better get this listed fat. Oh, look at the... Look at the lining. So this is why I love brands carried at Anthropology because Anthropology does such a good job with details. Beautiful little details that make women happy on their clothing. So it's lined, but look at the lining. It's got a little lace trim. Oh, so good. So good. I just sounded like my mom there. Oh, sounded just like her. So I don't know eBay or Posh, I can put my anthro pieces, probably $29.99 with best offer. This is a brand that shows up in a lot of my videos. I feel so grateful that I find it here. Do you guys find this brand? I'm in Northern California. The brand is Cut Loose. Cut Loose, I was saying in one of my last videos, um, this brand sells for me really quick and really consistently. There aren't that many brands that I know if I list, it's like, oh, within two weeks, it's going to be gone. People tend to buy it for my asking price, not necessarily even putting offers on. It must be like a boho brand that people love. This is kind of a maxi skirt. It's not kind of a maxi skirt. It is a maxi skirt. Elastic waist, olive green, long skirt. And it has this nice slit detail in the back. And it's in really great condition. And it's a medium and I love it. And I'll put it on for $39.99 and hope to get like $35 for that baby. Oh, that was the end of the 50 cent finds. How do you think I did with that? When I went through it with you, I'm like, yeah, there's probably like five of those items that I maybe shouldn't have bought because I'm not going to hit my $20 mark. But hey, maybe I'm going to hit my 15 Maybe those sales will get more action in my eBay store or my Poshmore closet. Poshmore? No, Poshmark. Poshmark closet. 18 minutes this video so far. I'm going to pause here. Those are my 50 cent finds. And I'm going to do another haul video with these last 
15 or so items because I don't want my videos to get so long. Um, and I might tack them together, I might not. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe to the channel so you know when we're on, and definitely leave a comment.